Yeah, so I, so in terms of virtualization, the thing that's making the impact on IT oper operations is not virtualization per se, it's really the use of automation and orchestration with virtual capabilities that exist in the enterprise. So as you start to take advantage of um, virtualization software in your storage and your server and in your network and combining that with um, the ability to use infrastructure as code, you gain the ability to really automate how the infrastructure is provisioned and you also gain a lot more insight into how that infrastructure is operating. So a great example is uh, work that US CENTCOM is doing. Um, so what CENTCOM had a situation where they had an aging infrastructure that they needed to modernize and one way they could have done that is just simply, you know, rip and replace all the network infrastructure that they have. But they chose to go down the path of software-defined networking instead of just doing a rip and replace. And that bought them a lot of advantages. And one of those advantages is that they're able to more quickly identify where problems are occurring in the network because they have a lot more intelligence about what's actually going on in the network. And then they can more quickly, uh, say, respond to those problems because they have centralized command and control of that environment. And then in addition to that, just the efficiencies gained through being able to automate that provisioning means less time spent, um, you know, less time spent provi uh, manually provisioning things so they can get more done a lot faster. And the key takeaway of this is that it enables the warfighter to really concentrate on the mission as opposed to worrying about whether the IT is going to be there and be available for them. So increased, you know, resiliency, increased availability, and faster uh, resolution times translate into better uh, mission performance for the warfighter.